Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Light 2425RB. This is a rear bath couples model. You have a slide out U dinette in here and some great storage. It's a pretty cool floor plan. This one comes in right around 5,600 pounds. Let's take a look right over here. So one of the initial things you'll notice is how much countertop prep space you have. And part of that is due to the fact you have the sink top cover as well as the cooktop cover here. So uh, again, great prep space throughout. You also, of course, have this space right here, which is always a good thing to have. When we do take off the sink top cover, you will also notice it is an undermount sink. Because they have upgraded the countertops in here, you have the seamless thermofoil countertops that allows them to undermount it. Double bowl sink there, small on the left, larger on the right. And then you have the high-rise pull-out faucet here, just to make washing and rinsing dishes a little bit easier. I also like having a pull-out faucet because right over here where that electrical outlet is, is most likely where I'd put my key rig. And uh, it gets kind of annoying to constantly have to take out the, the basin to fill it back up. So I just take my pull-out faucet, pull it over, fill it up right there. It's pretty darn handy. Another thing you'll see, of course, as I mentioned, is the cooktop. As I said, it does have the glass cover. Now you have this beautiful backsplash behind it that is lit. But when this folds up, it kind of creates like a double backsplash too, which is nice. Three burner cooktop. You'll see that all of your dials are illuminated. You can turn that off if you so choose. The neat thing about the lights though is, you know, if you want to leave it on at night, it does kind of create almost like a courtesy light. Kind of same thing with this back here. Gives off just enough light to be able to see where you're going and it's not obnoxious. Right underneath you have your oven, in case you want to uh, do a little baking while you're camping. And then of course you have your storage. Three full extension ball bearing drawers, that way you have one for your flatware, another one for some of your you know, serving spoons, spatulas, things like that. And this bottom one is a little bit deeper if you have some larger items you want to stick in there. Underneath the sink you have enough space for a trash can, it's kind of a triangle so you know a, a circular trash can may actually work better than a rectangle one uh, but you know again there is enough space where you're actually able to put one in there. Up across the top you have good storage here too, kind of has almost like the beadboard look on the doors which is pretty great. You'll see storage all across here, it does go back into that back corner so that way you can kind of reach it from two different sides there. Your stainless steel microwave here as well as the hood, it does have a light and fan in that hood as well. The switch to turn off that backlight by the way folks is right up here if you do want to turn off uh, the, the little rope lighting right in your backsplash there. In the slide out right across the way here is where your fridge is located. If you were wondering, don't worry it is nearby the kitchen here. We open that up, you see you have plenty of space in there. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over and you have the stainless looking panels on there. Right next to that is your U-shaped dinette. The cool thing about this one, folks, is it's actually quite versatile. So you can keep it just like it is to have the U-shape, or if you drop down underneath, you'll see that you actually have three flanges. And the reason for that is this back seat right here is actually removable. And if you look at the bottom of the table, you can see flanges right here. So you can actually flip the table so it's this way, giving you your more standard style booth dinette. So you have a couple different options as far as the way you want it. You can kind of customize it to your needs. Uh, great thing about the U dinette, either way is that this does drop down to make up a big bed where two people can sleep. And because the TV is straight across the way, you can either you know sit in the back right here, you can flip the table around, kind of have two bench seats, put your, put your back up against the wall, and both of you can watch the TV right from there. So uh, it is a really kind of unique dinette that they set up in here. I think they did a great job. You'll see where they put the backer in the wall, so you know where to mount it. Of course, all of your connections for it are right, are right there. Audio video cables, I know I've had a million people that tell me that you know they should be HDMI, I completely agree, <laughs> but uh, most manufacturers are currently still running audio video cables and most TVs do still have those connections on there. So uh, what you'll do is you'll use those right here. They are connected to this multimedia center which is a CD player, also a DVD player which is what those are for. Pop a DVD in there, you're able to watch it. You do have some storage space right there for any auxiliary equipment as well as storage down below perfect space for your DVD collection and then you have the tinted glass on there instead of wood just to help break up that look a little bit. Uh, if you take a quick look at the ceiling you'll see a row of LED lights there. This one does have your ducted AC with a quick dump. You'll also notice the speakers up here. Those of course are controlled by that multimedia center. The thermostat is right here. This one does control both the ducted AC as well as the ducted heat. 
right down here is your propane leak detector. Hopefully you never have to hear that, but you know that it is there, so you are safe. And then you also have the electrical outlet right over to the side. Right in here, this is pretty neat, folks. As soon as you walk in the entry door here, you do have the coat hook, so you can hang your jackets right up there. But take a look at this. You have some options in here, too. So you have three removable shelves. If you want to take these out, it's real simple. You just lift them up, take them off just like that. Otherwise, you can leave them in there. But even if you just want to take the top one out, that allows you to hang up jackets, whatever else in here, and you can still have a couple others. Or leave all three and have a massive pantry there. Also, right back here, again, more storage. So, you know, like I said, for being the, the floor plan it is, you get a lot of storage in here, which is pretty cool, especially for a couples coach. I, I, I like having a lot of storage because you're going to bring, you know, quite a few things with you. Also, you'll have the, um, your main panel right here. You'll see that you have your tank monitoring panel there, awning, as well as your lights, water pump, water heater, slide room, all of it right there. In the back is the bathroom. It is a rear bath, so as you would expect, it is pretty sizable here, especially if it's a decent sized travel trailer. Foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat here. As you can see, I have a ton of leg room. Pretty good in the shoulders. I'm pretty wide in the shoulders, and I have no issues here. Right over here is your shower. The light switch is on the wall right here, so that way, uh, you know, it's nice and easy to use right as soon as you walk in. Neo angle shower. I'll stand in here for you. Just to give you an idea, I'm six foot. As you can see, I have plenty of space here, especially with that skylight. So even if you're 6'3", you can still sit underneath that skylight. You won't have to duck down. So if you're a tall person, you're sick of ducking down in the shower, you don't have to worry about it in here. A couple of shelves there, the hand wand and the doors are in a roller track. So that way the water goes right down the door into the shower pan instead of making a mess of your floor. If you take a look over here, you see the kind of the extension on the countertop, which I like. So you have good countertop space, your electrical outlet right there where you want it. You have the cubby hole right here. So, you know, if you want some reading material or something in there, and then some things maybe you want to hide away, tuck away like your extra toilet paper, black tank chemicals, things like that. And right up top is your mirrored medicine cabinet. If you take a look over at this side, you have a little window right here, which is kind of cool. Let some natural light in here during the day. Vent fan right up top, as you would expect. And you get a linen closet over to the side. They say we spend 30% of our day sleeping, so the master bedroom is certainly important. One of my favorite parts about the master bedroom in here, folks, is that this is a residential size 60 by 80 queen bed. So if you're, a t again, a taller person, you're sick of your feet hanging off, you don't have to worry about it in here, you get that residential 60 by 80 bed. On both sides, you have big nightstands. You can see how you actually have the, the countertop section on there too, which is wonderful. You have a couple of drawers for anything that you want to store. And right down below, you will see that you also have an electrical outlet, USB port as well on one side in case you want to plug some things in. And right up top here, you have mirrored wardrobe with the hanging rod right there. You also have some storage going across. Again, the tinted glass rather than wood. Kind of this cool wood wall look. I like that. It's almost like a shiplap look, you know, kind of taking on the Chip and Joanna Gaines residential trend there. You'll see the uh, LED lights throughout, making it a nice, bright bedroom. And if you look right across the way, you'll actually see you have TV hookup. So if you want to, if you want to watch some TV before bed, that is where you'll have it installed. As we take a look at the outside of the 2425RB, you'll notice right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch just like so to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light on there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover, and you'll see behind that you have rails there for your battery. Coming up the front is kind of this diamond etched plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll see right here, three year structural warranty, currently the best in the industry. And for 2019, they have changed the cap to a white front cap on here. You'll see the LED lights that are inlaid in there as well. Coming around to the side, one of the things you'll see is a uh, solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. The pass-through compartment has a covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. It's also slam latch and magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. When you take a look in the pass-through, you'll see how clean and open it is. Notice that the door on the other side is the exact same size. So no matter what you put in here, you can get out on the other side and it's also large. So that way if you need like an executive chair to fit in here or a grill, you can fit it in the pass-through. 
You'll also notice you have an LED light strip up there, so it's nice and bright at night. And then there's also switches right over here to control the lights underneath. You have uh, lights right down here by the jacks. It's kind of tough to see during the day, but it's pretty cool. It lights all your jacks up at night as well as uh, um, in the back there, both front and back. So that way you can see them at night. It helps, it makes it a little bit easier to see your campsite. Plus it lights it up to make sure you don't trip on your stairs, which is important. They are power stabilizer jacks, right? Not auto level. You don't want to, you might want to make sure it's leveled out. You don't want to try to level it or you'll damage it. But the power stabilizer jacks are awesome because it's just that much quicker and easier to set up and tear down when you're camping. You also have a power awning. Why not, right? Power tongue jack, power stabilizers. Might as well have a power awning too. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Easy one person operation. And again, it's kind of tough to see, but you do have an LED light strip in there as well. So that way, if you want uh, light at night, just flip it on and you're good to go. Two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit right out here underneath your awning, control your music, you can do so. Right up here is where you will fill your fresh water tank. If you plan on going somewhere where you don't have city water, you'll want to make sure you have fresh water with you, and that's where you fill it. TV connections right out here, both your cable outlet as well as electrical outlet. So if you want a TV, that is where you'll hook it up at. Aluminum alloy wheels, folks, that's a pretty big deal, especially you know in, in this price point. I love having the aluminum alloy because A, they just look really nice, but B, they will continue looking nice because aluminum doesn't rust. So you will have these beautiful looking wheels on this rig for years to come. This is an awesome addition right here. This is probably one of my favorites. Folks, this is the Moride Step Above system. If you haven't seen this yet, you're gonna be blown away by how sturdy these steps actually are. As you can see, I mean, I'm over 200 pounds. I can jump on these steps and they hardly flex. You know, unlike your normal traditional steps where you kind of step on them and sometimes you feel like you're gonna fall, you don't feel that at all with these steps. I absolutely love them. Uh, to put them away, because it doesn't necessarily fold up into the chassis, all you have to do is you open up the door, you'll swing that all the way open, and then this lifts up and locks into place just like so. You shut your door and you head right down the road. It's really that easy. You'll see there's a grab handle right here to pull it back down once you get to your destination. But folks, that's all there is to it. You also see there's a foldable grab handle right here so that way it does help you climb up into the coach. That of course is your rear power control for your rear jacks. And when you come around to the back, you will see this one does have a full bumper on there. Also, you have the end cap, so that way you can take those off and it gives you a spot to store your sewer hose. Right back here is your spare tire. Uh, great thing about this is it's probably one of the easiest places to get to it. Obviously, no one ever wants to have a blowout, but if it does happen, having the spare tire right back here mounted on that bumper uh, is great. It's the easiest place to get to it. Right up top, you will also notice that this one has backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera on here, having the prep means that it's easier to install. What that means to you is that the installation will be cheaper because, again, it is less work, less labor. Coming around to the side, this is where your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug into your cable inlet, as well as a black tank flush. This one does have one on here. So when you're done dumping your tanks, hook a hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in. That will dump everything out for you. City water inlet right here. If you have city water connection, that's where it's going to go. You have your outside shower right here with both hot and cold water access. And when we drop below right here, you will also see your termination. Notice that you have a black and gray termination on there. You do have another termination up front because this one is for the rear bath. So your second gray tank is in front of the axles and you will have a valve for that one as well. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Light 2425RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.